Hey everyone, welcome to my library. My name is Melissa and today I am doing a TBR video. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I haven't done one of these TBR videos in forever. Um, I had a break from doing them um, just to mood read a little bit and I have definitely been enjoying that. Um, but <laughs> for some reason, I have some, some plans in August. Um, this is good. <laughs> so yeah, I have a lot of buddy reads planned, um, and a lot of things, a lot of books that I want to talk about. So, um, yeah, I just decided I would finally film a TBR video. So let's do it. Um, there's two books that I'm in the middle of currently. It's September, uh, September, oh my gosh. It's July 30th, so there's two days left in the month. Definitely won't be finishing these two books <laughs> by then. So I thought I'd just quickly mention them, but I'm actually also vlogging. Who am I? <laughs> yeah, I'm vlogging, um, doing a weekend reading vlog. And so you guys will hear more of my thoughts on these books then. So I won't, I really won't go into too much depth. Um, but yes, I am in the middle of Paint the Wind by Kathy Cash Spellman. Love the step back. Basically the story of Fancy Deverell and her exploits uh, with these two brothers <laughs> um, in the West. It's an epic Western and it is awesome. So yes, this is the book I'm still reading and loving so much. Still five star feels. So this is good. <laughs> um, the other book I am also in the middle of that I haven't mentioned yet, um, but quite predictable for me, is Career of Evil by Robert Galbraith. This is the TV tie-in edition, and I love it because this show is so good too. Um, but yeah, I am reading this book. I just finished The Silkworm and can't get enough of these two characters and need to know how it goes, um, how it continues. So I had to pick up the next one. I literally, it was just in my mind all the time. Like, okay, how, where is this romance? Specifically the romance is what I'm here for. Where is that gonna go in this next book? So, um, so far I'm loving it. I am this far in, let's see, 200 pages. And yeah, the drama is real. <laughs> um, but honestly, this is a crime mystery. So don't go in expecting tons of romance. Um, I'm here for the subtle, like super slow burn. So anyways, yeah, I am loving it though. And can't wait to finish this one. Um, okay, so then the three books, there's three books I plan on reading um, over the course of August. Um, so I'll give a little backstory on the first one. Uh, so I have a Buddy Reads Discord group. Um, it's called Melissa's Buddy Reads. It's always linked down below for anyone to join. Please join me if you're at all inclined. Um, basically, um, the concept is there's 12 books I wanna read this year. Um, and initially it was, oh, I'm gonna read one a month, but it's kind of going faster and slower depending on the lengths of the books. Um, but anyways, I really would love to buddy read them with my fellow friends, my fellow bookish friends. And so, um, yeah, I create a new channel for every one of those books when the time comes and we buddy read it for that month. So, um, anyways, I finally, uh, kind of reinstilled that idea for August and I really do want to get to the Wheel of Fortune by Susan Howitch. So um, this is a huge book though, <laughs> ye be warned. Um, it is, this mass market paperback is over 1100 pages. So it is gonna take me basically all month, <laughs> um, maybe even longer, we'll see. But uh, I'll read the back because I think it does the best job at explaining what this book is. Ox Moon, the rambling old mansion on a sprawling estate in Wales, is for generations the dream, the downfall, and the destiny of the wealthy Godwin family. They are entranced by tales of glittering parties where young lovers waltz between, beneath the chandeliers as the orchestra played the Blue Danube waltz. They are ensnared by the family legacy of madness, murder, and doomed romance. The disastrous consequences of 19th century Gwyneth Godwin's scandalous affair with sheep farmer Owen Bryn Davies. Yeah, so it is a basically a family saga centering around this 
um, sprawling estate in Wales and um, sounds like there's going to be a little bit of a gothic mystery maybe to it um, and a forbidden romance. So I am so here for this. I think it sounds amazing. I've heard nothing but great things about Su Susan Howitch. I own two of her other books on my shelves, so I'm really eager to get to her books and just see how it goes, see how the writing is. Um, so yeah, please join me if you would like to um, in August to read this. I never have set dates or anything for reading these books, um, so it's not like a really strict buddy read schedule or anything. It's just, hey, if you want to read this with me and then as you're reading, put your, your thoughts in the, the channel and obviously, you know, hide for spoilers and stuff. But um, yeah, it's been so fun to, to read some of these books with you guys. It's been a really, really great experience so far. So anyways, please join me. <laughs> but uh, yeah, would love to read this with you. Okay, so then the next book is also a buddy read I have planned. And it's my in real life book clubs pick for August which I'm stoked about. Um, we basically, the girl that's in charge of it put out a Google Forms vote for um, everyone in the book club to vote on. There was like a list of 30 or so books that people had kind of sporadically mentioned over the course of um, our book club meetings as books that they would love to read. And of course, um, I recently joined this book club, but I've been hyping up Amy Harmon and how much I enjoy her writing. Um, this is kind of a historical fiction centered book club. And so anyways, with that being said, I guess the number one voted book <laughs> was the songbook of Benny Lament, and I couldn't be more excited. Um, so yeah, so I will be reading this for my In Real Life book club, as well as um, Becca from Hicks Picks Books, who is an amazing booktuber. Um, I'll link her channel down below. She recently read What the Wind Knows and absolutely loved it. I think it's her favorite book of 2021 so far, or it's tied for her favorite or something. And anyways, I know um, she said she wants to get to another Amy Harmon book and I hit her up and asked her if she wanted to buddy read this. And so yeah, we're gonna buddy read it together. Um, this will start mid, April, not April, mid August. Um, I'll probably start this, but uh, yeah, super excited to buddy read this with Becca. And um, all I know about this book is it is set in 1960s New York City and it features a interracial couple who um, basically have the whole world against them. They are both musicians. Benny Lament is the main hero of the story. He is a piano player and he hears Esther Mine, um, the woman pictured here, sing and thinks she has an amazing, beautiful voice and is completely inspired by her to write a song. Um, for her to sing or something like that and so then it's their love story and um i know benny lament has some ties to the mob from what i understand like his his family or something so there's that going <laughs> um anyways there's a lot of things that are uh just sound right up my alley with this book um and i know amy Harmon has come out with a 1960s playlist to um, accompany this book, like on Spotify, she's created one. So I definitely will be listening to that as I read this book, 100%. <laughs> so, so yeah, so this is another book I plan on reading in August. Um, so the next book is one that I am, another series I am very eager to continue in. It recently um, got added to my Libby. I've been on hold for about 16 weeks to read this book. Um, I actually, it came at a very um, opportune time because I had actually just finished the first book. That's Butter, She's Stretching. <laughs> I had just finished the first book in this series a couple weeks ago. I placed both of these books on hold at the same time. They took forever to get in. Um, so yeah, this one finally came in as well. And so I need to get to it before it gets lost in the Libby Holds forever. <laughs> um, and that is It Happened One Autumn by Lisa Kleypas. So this is number two in the Wallflowers series. Um, and each of these books is 
the title is like a certain season as well, which is kind of fun. So um, the first book was uh, Once Upon a Summer Night or something. It happened one summer night, something like that. I just forgot it. And then this one, oh, this one is It Happened One Autumn. So Secrets of a Summer Night. I just remembered it. <laughs> so yeah, um, I, I know. So the basic premise of this series is it's four girls who are all wallflowers. They're all considered almost spinsters and um it's their they make a pact to find husbands and um to do everything they can to land somebody <laughs> and so that's what happens with this book i'm sure as well um i have no idea who it is but it's one of the the four lillian bowman um so yeah i'm excited and it's narrated by rosalind landor who is my queen i love her so much she does amazing narrations of historical romances. So I'm in for a treat. Um, so that's my audiobook I have, Once I Finish Slightly Wicked by Mary Balog, which I'm in the middle of right now. So um, yeah, those are, the, those are the set in stone plans I have for August um, for reading. Other than that, we'll see where it goes. Honestly, this is a lot for me to read though and finish over the course of a month um very thick books <laughs> so yeah i think i think this will be enough for me honestly <laughs> almost too much basically but it, it's fine so yeah please let me know down below um if you're excited about any of these books if you've read any of them or if you want to read them um and also what you plan on reading in august would love to hear um but with all that being said please like and comment and subscribe if you want to see more from me, and I will see you guys in another video. Bye!